One thing, <laughs> one thing that does bother me is when I misplace some things. And today, today I have misplaced something, and that something is actually the intro to my video. So, you guys will have to watch for later on in the video when I am recently dead and over here sorting shulker boxes. But yeah, <laughs> welcome to episode 14, guys. How's it going? My name's Fawzen, and we are here on the Fawzencraft server at our base and now as you can see right here the nether portals have all been set up and that was so that we could do a nether hub and we set that up in the last episode if you missed that you can go and check that out right now but the first thing we are going to be doing in today's episode is actually heading over to nether and checking that out but first <laughs> there's a little bit of things that I ended up doing off camera that I would like to show you guys because Although I was away and unable to record, I did get some things done. And those things are actually not in the nether, they're right here in the overworld. So, <laughs> I, I normally don't like nighttime, but we're, we're gonna stay outside for tonight. And those things are right over here. This is at Steve Foz's place. And although we did optimize this iron golem farm and we were using it to get the hoppers that we're gonna be using for our storage system, I actually did a little thing with these machines over here. So this right here is a pumpkin and melon farm and I optimized it so that we get lots of pumpkins and lots of melons. And this right here is this villager trader. I just made it look a little better. And what I really was doing was this right here. And this is the villager trading hall. And I set up all of his villagers because in fact this one right here is a mending villager. And I needed some mending. But I got so much mending. I actually gave like six away to Steve. I hope he used those for good things. But yeah, we got a bunch of things done off camera because I was unable to record. And there's a few other things. And the next one I'd actu actually like to show you guys is in the nether. We've just popped on through into the nether and check this out. I am happy. I went and got all my blackstone stuff and there is our netherite. So we are definitely going to fully kit out in netherite tools. And if you remember this right here, this is actually Louis's portal. And over here he's got a weird little machine thing. And although I don't know what this is, we aren't interested in that. We are going up here because I have created a little... Oh, no, 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 no. Like I said, <laughs> we've created a nice little tunnel up here. And if you'll remember from the last episode, we did this in an explosive way. We came in here with TNT and we blew stuff up. And actually, it looks a little different from when we last saw it because I actually came in here while I was unable to record and I cleared it out all the way to the end. It is now nine wide and that means we can fit the hub in here that we want to do. And if you missed the last episode, you might be confused why I have haste too. And this might be one of my very favorite views here in the nether. But that right there, that is a beacon beam. And we put a hole through the roof of the nether and oh, it, it was such a waste of time. But it was worth it because right here we have... Uh, what do we have? We have a bunch of blackstone. And this is not all. There is more. There is still like a double chest over there. So we are set for now. I think we might have enough for this hub. <laughs> I really don't know. But we're get, we're going to put up this hub in the first bit of the episode. <laughs> we might need to get Speed or somebody else to come in and decorate a little bit because... I'm not the best builder, but then I also want to go and get a little bit more work on our mega base today <laughs> This is just an episode full of building and if, For those of you who might follow the schedule in which I normally post videos You might notice that I did another falls and craft <laughs> I'm being killed instead of doing what I normally would a building video and that is because I'm just so so excited <laughs> These flaws and craft videos are the ones that I really love to do and the other ones when I do them give me time so that I'm able to make these flaws and craft ones t as good as I can. Whoa! This is not good guys. This is not good. Yeah, like I was saying. I, I do the other ones so I can make these Flaws and Craft ones as good as I can. And today, I think I have enough time to do all of this building. So, we, we're going to go and get some more stuff. Maybe, 
But yeah, I, I think we'll need a little bit more food, and then we're gonna get started on that nether hub. And I needed some ice for the road, so I did the first logical thing I could think of, and I've come here to buy out Louis's entire stock. But check this out. He still hasn't collected his diamonds from when we paid him, like, like five, six episodes ago. Another thing I've been noticing, too, this, this spawn area, it, it really needs to get cleaned up. We're gonna have to do that sometime soon. And also, diamonds? I think we're gonna have to go do some more di uh, diamond mining, because I really want more than a stack of diamond blocks. Because before this world, the most I ever had at one time was one stack of diamonds. So if I can get more than a stack of diamond blocks, I will be happy. Our shop too was selling just the other day. <laughs> Once Beeve came on, he needed some dirt for some terraforming in his first episode. And he actually came and bought some stuff, which is probably... Which is probably the first purchase we've had. Oh no no, I'm, Anna actually came and bought some stone for a little mountain she made. So yeah, <laughs> no more sales, but yeah, we were selling some. And after crashing the market on ice, I think the next logical thing is actually to go and mine some. And luckily there's actually an ice biome right over here. No, like I was saying. There is an ice biome right over here. We're gonna head over there and we're gonna dig some up because we need a little bit more packed ice. Oh, check that out, guys. I nailed it. I got here first try. Hmm, guys, uh, we are in an ice spikes biome right now. Check out how much ice Elgrimard has mined. Jeez, we're gonna have to go up there. I've noticed two things. One, this is so easy to get packed ice. I wasted my diamonds. <laughs> the other is check out this pool. It's beautiful. Oh, it's like, it's like tropical water. I really gotta check F3. What biome are we in? Minecraft lukewarm. <laughs> lukewarm ocean. I'm sorry, ocean. Check out where you are. You were in the wrong place. So there's a lukewarm ocean in the ice spikes biome. And check out, look at, all this sand is just covered in snow. Man, Minecraft doesn't know what to do. I've come over here into the Soul Sand Valley just while we get the design down pat because honestly, the Crimson Valley is a little bit terrifying. So, I, I didn't actually plan this out with the explosion blasts, but to build, I need 10 height above the floor level, and from bedrock to where I'm standing is 11, which is perfect because that means we can just start building the ice road right here. And in the center, there's going to be an ice road then above it, there's going to be a hanging bridge, and in that bridge is going to be the elytra path. Then on the sides, there's going to be arches. And I honestly, I haven't decided if I want to make the bridge the elytra path or the arches. I think I'm just going to leave the arches open so that people can choose. Oh no, we have a slight issue. And the issue is... <gasps> okay, good, we're good, we're good. There was a gas there, and I think it has despawned. No, it hasn't despawned. Oh, there was a ghast in the tunnel with us. Oh, if I got returned to sender, that would have been awesome. I, I just need to kill this guy before he blows up my path. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> good good news, we got returned to sender. Bad news, there's more ghasts trying to blow the heck out of me. Oh, this is going to be problematic. I've almost finished the little tunnel thing I'm going to show you guys, but I ran out of blackstone, so I needed to come here and get some. But check this out. I will take that. What elevation are we even at? Oh, we're at 47. That is a rare ancient debris. Yeah, I, I went and got all that blackstone, and this is what it looks like. Oh, I, I really just love this. It is so impressive, especially with that lava lighting. This black dye, it, it, it's hurting my feelings, though. I'm going to need a lot of ink sacks, because this is going to go 400 blocks. 400 blocks that is just insane and now actually at the moment i'm not able to record too many clips just because i'm not actually in my room you might even be able to hear it there's probably a little bit of an echo so at the moment i can't actually do much recording but i do have a bunch of time on my hands so i think i'm going to carry this as far as i can and maybe just maybe finish <laughs> likely not <laughs> like likely this is gonna take a little while but I do want to see how far I can go at the moment and then hopefully we'll be able to get some more base work done today Optifine is out for 1.16 check it out I can zoom in now oh my goodness I just oh I'm I missed this <laughs> I never used Optifine before but since I started using it I started to miss the zoom in <laughs> As you guys can see, we are actually at a different beacon. 
<sighs> I, I, I did it again. I had to go up and break bedrock. This one, I didn't have to do as much research, but honestly, it took even longer this time because we needed to come here and get some blackstone because although we did a lot of blackstone mining at that other, uh, where, where are these? These are <laughs> nether bastions. I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah, even though we got a bunch of blackstone at the other nether bastion, ne nether bastion, no, just bastion. <laughs> <laughs> it was all that stuff. It was all bricks and cracked bricks. And this right here was a temple and the... Not a temple! It's a... Oh my goodness, it's a bastion. Fawzen, it's a bastion. <laughs> this bastion had a basement that was almost all blackstone. And I needed that because, as you'll see in a moment, the tunnel has gotten crazy. I only went 100 out of the 400 blocks, but oh my goodness, it took a long time. Like it took a serious long, seriously long time. <sighs> also, the server has also been updated, not to 1.16.2 or anything, but actually to a new hosting service. Before Elgrimard was running it, and he was the server administrator, and all the time I'd be pestering him like Elgrimard, we got, we got to do this, we got to do that. But now I can do it myself. And actually, one thing that I do want to do is get the server running on lithium. Well, actually, <laughs> the the dude who made lithium, I think, also made phos phosphor. Yeah, phosphor and sodium. So I think I think I'm, I'm going to check that out. But if we head back on over to where we were, we should seriously go and check out that tunnel. I am really loving the vibe because, of course, you guys have seen this nice little end part I made, but you have not seen the rest of the tunnel. Oh, I'm I'm only a quarter done. But that that is 100 blocks long, 100 blocks long, and it took forever. And that is only one of the reasons why I'm not actually going to be finishing it this episode. The other one is I am undecided. You guys might have noticed as I flew over here that there is actually some lava here on the sides. Now over here I did put lava on the walls, but it does look a little bit dark because you can only see about three of the lavas at a time. And I am wondering, should I put lava like this on the outside? Should I do lava behind the glass? Or, or should I do something else that you got, you genius viewers <laughs> will think of? Just let me, let me know down in the comments, because that is something that I want to, I've got to think about that. But now, <laughs> let's go check out all of the basalt I mined out. No, not basalt, blackstone. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at these names. Uh, yeah. We, we got a lot of blackstone and then more and then more. So we are set for blackstone for quite a decent amount of time. So what I'm thinking we will do right now is actually grab up all of the stuff we have here and head back over to the base because I did a little bit there too. <laughs> I swear 90% of the time I've spent on this episode has been off camera. Ooh, ooh, guys, I just came over to the base. Check this out. So there's the base, look it. There's a thunderstorm, and honestly, that, that is amazing that it's not raining down here. That is just how huge this disc is. Oh my goodness. But, like, this is the first thunderstorm that I've been in on this server. Like, should we do something? Should we, like, put pigs on towers or, or get some creepers? Because if we get some charged creepers, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool to get some heads. I mean, what's up here? I'm sure there's some mobs spawning. I should just, I'll hang out up here. I'll kill everything that isn't creepers, or, yeah, kill everything that isn't creepers, oh, if I don't get killed in the process. And let's see if we can get some charged creepers. One thing I might not have thought through is the entire mob cap of the whole server is up here with me, because this entire tower is spawn-proofed, and none of them are spawning down there, so this is terrifying, guys. This is terrifying. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's just, it's, it's, it's the zombie apocalypse. It's literally just a, just a zombie invasion. I don't have any rockets anymore. Now, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was wildly un unsuccessful, and yeah, uh, we almost died in the process. But if we head down here, actually, what I want to show you guys is down here, under the ground, and if you guys haven't seen this redstone tutorial, then this will be a first for you. <laughs> it's a lot uglier in this world than it was when I created it, but this is a shulker box unloader. It has a lot of different parts. This is, I think, Cubfan made this up, and then this was from Shulkercraft, and I did a few pieces down here and stuff. The basic gist of the whole machine is it unloads shulker boxes really fast. 
<laughs> so what we can do is we can throw items in in one of these tubes they come down they go through this machine the shulker boxes get emptied and any other items that end up in here by accident they get shot back out and this is for our storage and i think that we should work on our storage ow we should work on our storage right now because honestly guys i have had nowhere to put my items nowhere at all and i think that i want it up at the top of my base way up there and honestly guys not gonna lie i've been waiting for this for a long time just mmm beautiful <laughs> check out that glass oh i designed this in 1.15 and i was like oh i really like the way that looks and then 1.16 came out and then the glass couldn't connect and i was like oh it looks horrible but now it's good the tube is good this is good and oh my goodness that is spooky <laughs> i have my render distance kind of low at the moment because Actually, I'm I'm considering upgrading my PC and Kate, this is this is crazy. To all you guys that know PC specs, this one <laughs> this is kinda crazy. My RAM, I've I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is decently good. <laughs> but the speed is 800 megahertz, and that is that's not fast, guys. That's not fast. So <laughs> I've got my render distance kinda I could probably bring it up a little bit. But right here, this is where we're gonna be putting up our storage system. And what I'm thinking is we're gonna have rows, so like one here and one there, and they'll be like kinda like a library. Like it'll be almost like a library but of items and not books. No way, guys! No way! That is so cool. Okay, so <laughs> it's sometime in the morning right now. I just woke up and like how I <laughs> just showed that there was a thunderstorm, there was actually a thunderstorm in real life. And there has been a thunderstorm in like, I don't know, like six months or something where I live. <laughs> and this is the first one of the, so I, just great coincidences, great coincidences. I was about to record and it was raining and I thought, ah. Oh, I'll just wait, I'll just wait until the rain is over, but nope, <laughs> I don't need to, because I can just go over here. <laughs> this is my own Eden, this is my Eden. <gasps> I should do that, like down here, I should just build an Eden, like a perfect land, because this thing is amazing. But yeah, remember in the beginning of the episode, I was like, yeah, we're gonna work on the base, and then after that, I was like, we're gonna work on storage. Well, I did that, I did <laughs> Oh, I, I put up a wall of chests. We're gonna leave that there because I really want to build. Like, although the storage system would be something cool that I have to do eventually, I just, I can't think of a design. I can't think of anything that would be cool up here that I can do. But in a creative testing world, I keep smacking my face. <laughs> in a creative testing world, I thought of a design that I think is really cool and I want to build it here. I want to add it to this thing because honestly this thing right behind me that disc up on the top doesn't look very supported well just what on earth <laughs> over here is my terracotta and my stained glass right i've got my terracotta my stained glass uh glass not glass i've got all my glass but where's my concrete i just made two shulker boxes of it aha there we go okay there there's our concrete but one thing i also noticed is this I found the shulker box when El Grimard blew up my base with chickens, but he hasn't come to collect it. And you know, you know, we're we're good people. <laughs> we're good people. We're gonna go and give this back. Okay, I need to fix that. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna go and give it to him because I do not like losing shulker boxes, and I'm guessing he doesn't either. He actually mentioned that to me. He said. I always lose my shulker boxes, and he, that he finds it, and oh, we gotta clean up around here, it's super messy. He said that he always loses his shulker boxes, and he doesn't like it, so I mean, we have to give it back. We, we couldn't not give it back. And one thing I did notice, yeah, it's still in here. He's had that gold in there forever. <laughs> <laughs> he always smelts with blazer rods too, which that's just it's just kind of odd. But yeah, here you go, Louis. Boom. Oh, oh! I was just about to go through the portal to the overworld, but look, at, I got haste too. So that bastion, the one one of the bastions, must be really nearby because the beacon is giving us haste too. But let's check this out real quick. Look at this. So I'm I'm not guilty for showing you guys this because I just watched Steve's episode and he oh danger and he put this up so this is already shown in this episode no spoilers here but oh look at this this is this is called good building guys this is what I need to be doing well 
at least we have huge and ginormous in the bag. <laughs> I would love to do a time lapse of this because I think it's going to look decently cool. But, you know, no replay mod. <laughs> I don't have a record. Well, I do have a cam account, but not one that I have recording software for. So, that means we're going to be doing progress updates. Yay! Progress report. Day one. <laughs> the first block has been laid. Progress report. Day two. The second block has been... No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to do it now. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Always keep rockets on your hotbar. And the thing is, we don't have any data packs for this man, so he is completely and totally- Ooh, tropical fish. He's not useless. What are you talking about? But I mean, like, I just had a seriously good idea. What if you use this guy as, like, a clock? I don't know if you can, like, name tag them and then they don't despawn. But if you could, whenever he's invisible, it's nighttime. <gasps> No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be having a bedroom, but that would be a good idea. I would say this is probably our first real progress report. And, oh, no. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> like I said, guys, first progress report, and I really, really just like the way that looks. So if we actually come down here, it actually bends off and goes the other way and then comes up through the top. And now on these corner ones, well, those aren't corner ones, <laughs> they're all corner ones, it's a circle. But on these ones right here, it's going to come up from lower, and then it's going to branch out into single ones. So it's going to be mirrored, mirrored, and then like, swoopy things out to the side, and I think... That looks good? I have made a, a bunch of these things, and it's literally the same thing. I'm only going the other way, so nothing has changed at all. But I'm so slow. I, I, I have completely forgotten the rhythm. I, I have lost the rhythm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, this is a perfect clock. I was like here spamming right click, and I stopped, and I looked up at the sun, and all of a sudden I heard this man sipping his potion. Like, that's the perfect clock. Tell me that's not an amazing clock. Ooh. Ooh, guys, okay, so I've run out of terracotta, and that's fine. I can go and get some more from the mining mesa, but check that out. <laughs> it looks like some kind of, like, oh, I just really like it. It's like arms. It's almost like samurai business or something like that. But up here, I really like that, too. It's, I, I've seen lotus flowers before, okay? And I, I don't know if this really looks like one, but this looks like a lotus flower in my mind. In, in the mind of Fawzen, this is a beautiful lotus flower. Why have I done this? Oh, because, okay, when I set up the portals for all the things, I was planning for myself doing the whole nether hub thing right away, but because I didn't finish it over here, this is K. So I set up this portal, right? And that is the portal that we want, but because of where the other one is, it, it spawns out here in the ocean, and I keep having to dismantle it because people come through. So I mean, free obsidian, but not what I want. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Oh, it's too it's just too good to be true. I had to check the crafting table just to make sure because when I set up the server, I put crafting tweaks on and this one is actually used on the Hermitcraft server. It's done by Azumavoid and uh, it is universal dying. So basically, you can put any color of terracotta or any color of stained glass and you can dye it. And it's just oh, it's so good. You could view that as being kind of cheaty and non-vanilla but but the thing is if you weren't using yellow terracotta or brown terracotta or orange terracotta it ends up just getting wasted and like ah uh, it just makes no sense you should do universal dyeing even though even though it could be considered cheaty should i invest in a blue dye farm and save all of my lapis lazuli yes definitely Am I going to? No, of course not. Honestly, what the heck? I, I haven't watched back the footage. I'm dying my stuff right now. I lost... I lost a shulker box. <laughs> An entire shulker box full of orange terracotta is just gone. <laughs> I went back to the mesa and I couldn't find it, so... That's really weird. I'm gonna have to go and get another one. R.I.P. Shulker Box. While it is mildly annoying that we <laughs> are missing two of those stacks, uh, I do have the Shulker Box. It's in my inventory. It's not gonna disappear, but there's, there's bad news. I threw an Ender Pearl to get up here, and it went through the portal, so I honestly... I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I just don't end up in lava. Wait, I should get ready with my rockets. What? Nothing? Is that... Is that supposed to happen? Okay, we're, we're just gonna... 
we're gonna leave that be. Oh my goodness, you guys will not believe what I just saw. I can't, I can't actually show you guys the base right now because I just saw it with a sunset and it was so beautiful. Like, holy goodness, it was amazing. So I'm actually, I'm actually gonna wait until it's nighttime. I'm just gonna stand here and do nothing until it's sunset. And that way I can get an epic shot of it. Oh, it, it might need to become the thumbnail. It, it might just need to become the thumbnail. The time has arrived. The time has arrived. The sun is setting. And okay, so look it. This is it without the sunrise. I mean, the sunset. We have these cool support beams going around like that but now i'm gonna come down because this is the cool part right here <laughs> oh my goodness look at that oh i just love this base guys it is simply beautiful is there a way that i can get all of this in one shot oh my goodness oh my goodness it's ending it's ending wrong way oh this looks terrible oh no it doesn't <laughs> we're gonna need a screenshot of that oh wait wait wait, wait. i gotta go like this <laughs> That is such a terrible field of view. Oh, do I have time? Do I have time? I gotta... Okay, I gotta get one where there's lots of it, but not one where there's, like, none of it. Okay, wait. No, no. Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh, that might just end up being <laughs> the thumbnail for the video, guys. But right now, I'm actually gonna put my field of view back to normal because this is the end of the video. And now... Normally, when it's nighttime, I would sleep, but Speeve is actually live streaming right now, and he needs a zombie villager, so we're just gonna do it up in the air where we have no risk of dying. So yeah, guys, this episode was a blast. We got a bunch done on that nether hub. I'm really excited to keep on working on that in the next future updates, or no, <laughs> the next future episodes, and we also got this addition done up and I think it looks fabulous oh my goodness especially up here with all those claws oh I just love the way that looks and I've got a surprise for you guys of what's gonna go on top of there but that is not for today because this episode is ending right now so as always I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos I love making them and that is why I hope you guys enjoy watching them so until the next time that I see you in one of my videos, it's bye for now from me, guys. Adios. Oh man, guys, this is amazing. I have my zoom back. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't zoom when I'm that close to a face. Look at, I got my zoom back. <laughs>